I like to incorporate a wide variety of uh, teaching and learning approaches because I really do believe that students come with a wide variety of learning styles. And so I'd have to say that diversity is probably one of the biggest things I really like to focus on within the course. Well, he could see that he's really passionate about what he's teaching, so it helps involve us and makes us feel more passionately about it. And he really lets us kind of put our own spin on it, like direct our own learning. I really try to make what they do as applicable while still being a, a theoretical course. But within that, I try to give students as much as possible the chance to choose the kind of articles that they actually are going to pursue. We use a lot of case scenarios which are taken or compiled out of real life situations. Well, he always goes over um, like real life cases and it helps just prepare us for our clinical practice. He incorporates case studies into the teaching process and basically he'll give a scenario for the rest of the class and in groups we have sheets of the scenario and we go through and he has questions on it to help kind of guide the topic in our discussion. We want them to engage with the content. We want them to be able to understand it, to, to wrestle with the information, find ways to actually make it practical. He always requires us to have input and like continuing discussion. So that would be our major role, is just to facilitate discussion, keep discussion going. He is very open to people asking questions and he encourages you to ask questions and be involved in the discussions and the way that he teaches, it's very individual that way. I've never had another class where there's as much stuff outside of class, but I think that that discussion online, we're, able to, we're not as constricted. I think the online is particularly good because it allows them to continue these discussions in a asynchronous fashion so they can come and do it they can see what their colleagues were doing they can process it a little bit in their mind and then actually respond to it so i think our teaching and learning approaches should match that kind of real life situation